hey guys it's kavetta welcome or welcome back to my channel i am a single mom of two traveling the world with my two boys experiencing new cultures trying new foods and meeting a ton of amazing people we've spent the last almost two years hopping from country to country the last four months in thailand and now we're exploring malaysia come see it with us good morning good morning yes i know our struggle is real it is travel day again we are in mcdonald's because it's right by the mall where the um bus stop is we got up i didn't even know what was happening okay i'm supposed to be going to cameron highlands see the, all the tea you know the tea stuff <laughs> i don't know what i'm going there to see you guys it's just on the list and then i changed to where are we going ipo i don't i don't even know what is in ipo but i know it's a stop before you can get to cameron highlands so we're gonna do ipo and then do like a day trip to cameron highlands because that would be like a one day thing so i'm like i don't you know it doesn't make sense to just go there for one day might as well just do ipo then do a one a day trip there and then go to kl so that's the plan for now obviously things can change because last night i totally changed got up this morning took a grab it was five ringgit which was a dollar and change to get to the station because it's literally across the street from the hotel but we didn't want to walk with the bags <laughs> my life is a struggle joel is looking like yeah she is a struggle um yeah so that's what we did and then i just went up booked the bus ticket he said the next one is at 11 45 it's 11 32 now so we, we just came in to get some food it was 28 ring it what is 28 Jarell? for um three like six seven dollars six dollars or something but yeah they're about for the bus and it's like a two hour and change ride and then i'm just booking a hotel i think i'm gonna yeah as soon as i'm done with this part of the video i'm gonna book a hotel uh, just for one night just to see because I'm booking it, you know I'm not reading all the reviews. So I'm like, okay, let me just try to book something for a night see what it is If it's fine, I'll just extend it and then we'll probably stay there for like three nights three full days Do two days in Ipo one the, the one um, day trip over to Cameron Highlands and then we go to KL so that's the plan for right now Hopefully we can you know see some different sides of Malaysia eat some good food I have been drinking white coffee which is you know the thing that you must do and it is so good so i'm getting my malaysia on it's been amazing love penang probably could have stayed some more christine is staying in penang for two more days because she didn't want to go to um cameron cameron highlands and then this morning i told her i'm going to ipo <laughs> but she already booked her hotel and stuff so she's gonna stay here then we're gonna meet up again in uh Kuala Lumpur so yeah we'll take you along with with us on that journey as usual so I thought it would be a minivan but it's a whole bus and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty empty it's just the two of us so far so I'm gonna go put our bags in see what's happening we can spread out and sleep although it's in the middle of the day and only two hours finally here it was raining like crazy earlier and um got here checked into our hotel it is you know okay it is expensive for what it is but i guess the entire place is you know stays are expensive because i really didn't find anything decent price so it's, yeah it's like a low budget hotel for a higher price but it is what it is we're gonna go look for food now and um you know see what this city is about we are just walking we saw saw we saw we saw subway 7-eleven we did pass a mall and we, we did our best you see we didn't even go into that mall <laughs> yet we're walking to try to find the center or you know where the hub of everything is i'm not sure that's where we're headed but we're just going um we went to old town white coffee because we've eaten there before and it's amazing 
Oh, it's right here. So we're gonna go try this out and then see if we can find, you know, the middle of everything. Do you hear him? Mommy, you took a picture of this the last time. What did you take a picture of? Yeah. Um, just to put in the drink. So he got the same thing again. And I got an upsize hazelnut white coffee. This coffee is bomb. I haven't tried the hazelnut flavor, but the white coffee here in Malaysia, bomb. And then this is like one of the signature dishes. I forgot what it's called. Let me look real quick and tell you but it looks it smells good so i just wanted to try something different and you know traditional kind of let's see if i can find it no nope, it's back here probably can you see what's happening okay i can't find it you guys wait yes this the nasi lemak this is what I got, and it was only $23.90, so $4 and change. And then the drink was, I think, $10, so $2 there about and change. Yeah, so this is pretty good. I'm gonna dig into this right here. You guys, that meal was so good. If you get the chance, definitely try it. I enjoyed it. It was seasoned well, like seasoned, you know, I'm Jamaican seasoned. <laughs> It was good and Joel enjoyed his meal again. That white coffee, it just hit right. Now we're just gonna chill. Uh, plan to do Old Town, do pretty much everything in Old Town tomorrow. And then see if I can do the Cameron Highlands tour. And I think, yeah, cause there's not a ton ton to do, but you could do two, three days here for sure. But we're just gonna cut it short cause you know, but we'll see, of course, how everything plays out. Of course, we came into the mall. I mean, this is us we're talking about. And I went into Watson's always, like every single day I'm in Watson's. What is wrong with me? But I need a Dettol spray. It's like Lysol um, disinfecting spray. So I got one of those. And then we got another charger adapter, the international one. So we can have more than one thing charging at a time. We can have like the USBs, but only one computer plug or whatever. So it's got one of those and that was only $4 and change. So hopefully it lasts because that's super inexpensive. So now we're just walking around. Since it started raining, I think it's still raining outside. So we're just going to chill for a little bit and then go back to the hotel. But yeah, look at this mall. <laughs> I know there's a mall everywhere I go and I keep going in there. But it's, you know, something quick and easy to do. This is how big the mall is. This is a pretty big mall for, you know, what I would call a tiny, sleepy town. <laughs> but it's nice. I like it. There's a lot of food stuff over the here. The small even has a bowling center, you guys. I haven't seen a bowling center in forever, especially in the mall. This is so cool. There's like a ton of places to eat up here. Oh my gosh. We should have come here to eat. See? <laughs> this is why I love the mall. This is so different though. I like it. I haven't seen these stores uh, most places. And lots of food, lots of lots of things to do in this mall. This is a really nice mall. Good morning, you guys, from Ipo in uh, Malaysia. I'm like, where am I? I don't know where I am half the time. Okay, so remember yesterday we got in. I was talking about the hotel. Well, I don't know. It's like the second or third time this has happened where we've gotten to a hotel and just gotten a crappy room and asked for a change, and it was fixed and the room is better. 
do they just give people the crappy rooms and hope they don't say anything or something like what are the odds i don't know but um yeah so we got it changed and it's much better much much better still not the class that they claim but it's livable and we're fine so now we're trying to go get down to old town see what's happening grab some breakfast and check out this city so come see with us we're passing great wall cafe and Gerald is like oh that looks cute let's go in there and then we walk past it and then i'm like okay let's go in so we're gonna go see what we can eat in here and then continue on our way i asked him which coffee to get because i wanted the iced coffee so he said he would give me the signature coffee no idea what it is but that's what it is and then i have this um christine told me about it i already forgot what it's called but it's like a Japanese or something but it's toast with butter and I'll put it in the right the description or just over right here because I don't remember right now but yeah so I'm gonna try that and then Jarrell got chicken ham and cheese and water because he's about to go eat a ton of sweets because we're gonna go in Old Town and eat a lot of stuff I'm sure we're gonna find some good dessert sweet stuff so he's saving his sweet for that all right so I'm gonna try the coffee and let you know Okay, so going in for the coffee, you guys. Holy crap, that's good. Whatever their signature is, it is really good. This is really good coffee, look. Oh, I like this. I'm gonna have to come back here again. <laughs> this is so good, you guys. It's like a sweet coconut spread. I don't know how else to describe it, it's like coconut. But it's really good. I love it. How cute is this? They have street art just the same. This cute little swing right here. Oh, so cute. Oh my goodness, you guys. So we had to go back to the hotel room to regroup because we, I don't know where we went earlier. <laughs> but that was not where we we're trying to go. So I think we're heading in the right direction now to go see the spots. So we'll see. But yeah, our struggle is so real. This is a restaurant that you're, you should eat at. The, the, um, where we're at White Coffee yesterday the waitress told us that we should try this so we're probably gonna try it for lunch i'm not sure what's there but this is one of the little streets you want to stop at look at all these yummy stuff oh my goodness so we want to get something to drink because it is hot hot and just keep walking we stop and grab these popsicle things Got strawberry dragon fruit. Ooh, thank you. Look at this. Two RM. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. <laughs> okay you like it? Yes. There's some cute little shops around here where you can buy some sweet looking dessert. <laughs> Just, you know, little snacks. And then, of course, you can grab souvenirs or whatever else you need. But everything around here is just so cute. Of course, one of the things you have to do is look for the street art. Like in Penang. Look how cute this little alleyway is. I love this. Oh my goodness. And where the clock tower is, there's a whole food section so if you want to grab something local you can go eat there we're just literally walking around and it's beautiful happen upon this little artesian market at kong hing square we're gonna go look at what's in here
how cute is this you guys oh my goodness we stopped at this sort of cute place bits and bobs we passed there and just looked around a little bit and came back to Joel's getting a strawberry milkshake i'm getting the coconut shake but yeah how's the shake Joel? Good. tastes good mm -hmm. okay So this is the night market uh, right in the downtown area and we're staying two seconds down even on this street here I don't even know when these people are so good it's like a Jamaica kind of thing they just set up in like two seconds we passed here earlier everything was just you know empty and whatever and now it is so packed but it is raining it's like just started raining in the middle of the night like seriously rain go away we want to go check out the night market so we'll walk around a little bit and see hopefully we can find some food but there's these right here Jarell is saying not food not food not food because he wants food so he's like where's the food but it goes all the way down i don't know if this is like a, re a food market or it's just you know goods but we're going to just walk and look so this is something if you want to come and buy things clothes sunglasses souvenir whatever this is an option if you're in downtown. The lady at our hotel did say it starts really at around 8. It is 7.33 now, so do come after 8 if you're coming. Because you can see they're still setting up and there's empty stalls and stuff still. But we're just still walking around. I doubt we're going to find food, so we'll go somewhere else, but... Oh my gosh, no, this is the second food place I think we've seen. We passed a bigger stall up there. I'll probably just get it when we're going back. So we're gonna see if we wanna go eat here. It looks pretty full. We just walked to, to the entire, to, like to the back, back, and there's all these restaurants and places that you can eat. We enjoyed our time here in Ipo. We had a blast, super cute little city. Definitely recommend for a stopover for a day trip from KL or Penang, but I wouldn't miss this city. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date on our adventures and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.